Hello everybody, welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Moore's adventure in Stars 1. So what's going to happen today? Well, I've been kind of trying to process materials on my own, trying to come up with these components like the advanced electronics and so forth. And so I had to create a wind generator because I'm running out of power. And then I was starting to build the materials to build an auto crafter. Basically, we need to get to building this auto workbench because we can build this on top of, I guess, an ore deposit as per the comments on, on episode four, I believe. And this will automatically process the resources out of the ground into the appropriate materials, but we need these Titan plates. And in order to get those, we need to make the industrial furnace to smelt the, the titanium stuff. Where are we? Industrial, I think I can move. I can just type this in industrial. So I need to make an industrial furnace where this will you get rid of those titanium plates and I want to do this on camera with all of you and I think I have enough for the furnace. I think that's what we're gonna craft and then I need to make a pressing. Yeah, I can do that. And the industrial pressing, so we need to make basically some lead plates, which I have. I need to make more steel plates, which I don't have. We'll be able to you press those and so yeah so basically you, the generator here can store up to 5500 power the, that's fine and dandy but the problem I run into is when I start using multiple tools here like the presser and all that fun stuff then it it starts to slow right down I'm gonna press I think kinda like an even like an even number so like 15 like 5 10 like multiples of five so see this will use seven power and this will you consume it so you can feed uh, stuff into here for this power which will give me up to 10 units but without actually building more I can only kind of do 10 units sustainably so we're gonna build one of these bad boys um, I wish we could see look above but we can't and it's dark outside at the moment so Let's see here. I want to place it like this, I think. So where do we want to place it? Let's place it over here. Let's actually place it. Let's see here. You can do it kind of diagonally. We'll place it like this. We'll kind of run over here. It should still be attached to this power generator right here. So we'll put it right here. There we go. There's a big power generator it's actually very big I'm surprised we might have to move that which is fine so now if you can tell there's automatically five power be oh that's it, only five power for that hmm thought that would give off a little bit more but at least that's a five power without feeding it anything no wait nine power maybe there's actual wind in the game hmm interesting so maybe we don't have to worry about it. We'll just have to keep an eye on that. Maybe that will speed up and slow down. Maybe that will give us different power. So yeah, so we did that industrial crafter thing. So where do we put this guy, this this furnace? Let's put, how big is he? He's huge. Okay, let's put him right here beside this, right there. Is that in the spot? Yeah, that's in the spot. We have to remove everything, of course, and change it all with the new stuff. So now that's going a little bit slower, it looks like. Yeah, it's five. So maybe it goes up and down. So this is the furnace. So this is where we kind of put the, the Titan powder. Where are we? This stuff, the Titan powder refine. This, I hope, makes, yes, we got 20 power. Wow, that's going to chew this up like there's nothing. Uh, let's put five units, two, three, four, five. Wow, we, we might have to make more, yeah, more storage maybe. Wow, that's going to use a lot of power to make the Titan plates. Okay, I think if I take these Titan ingots, can we press them in here? Let's see here. So after this gets pressed, let's let's throw these Titan ingots in here. See what happens. No, they can't. So they're too strong. Well, that stinks. <laughs> okay, that's okay. So we need to make the industrial presser, right? 
not a big deal because that has everything normal as well so we need more steel plates so if we go back to the pressing I need seven more of these I wish there was a way of splitting so that way you can type in a split but that's okay five six seven so that should give us 30 steel plates we might have to make more we have 15 lead plates yeah we got that okay we need 185 of these small iron parts which uses iron plates great so let's craft up a bunch of these 40 50 60 70 okay let's do a little bit extra okay find oh um i have to delete this Dust. ah i spelt that bad industrial pressing okay now i need 90 conductors we have to get more of this unfortunately let's see do we have enough uh yes we do have enough okay perfect industrial pressing we need 16 of these bad boys <laughs> so three of these basically or four of these we need four of these perfect so that's 20 mechanism parts okay and then we need we will need these things advanced electronics which uses silver and that stuff how much advanced electronics do we need I, I didn't catch that 25 okay should be no problem I'm just gonna do them one at a time here 13 16 come on oh what do we run out of silver we ran out of rubber that means we need to chop some trees here so I will be right back when I've chopped some trees okay I grabbed a bunch of stuff a bunch of trees yes yeah, so this power goes up and down based on the day so maybe more than one of those will be useful uh, looks like we created some more steel ingots uh, this will make what glass we don't want that this will make the rubber so this should do it nice and quickly which is awesome be worth the power consumption I think we can always up it with this stuff all right is there anything in here happening a furnace we can probably take that furnace apart now probably don't need that okay cool so this would be another piece I think for the auto crafter Let's see the where are we auto crafter we actually need to make more of these ones so I need more rubber okay that's what we're making right now okay and let's see so we need to make 25 of these 25 okay let's make just a little bit more now we need to make sure that we have enough conductors one two three okay perfect so that should do it collect some more rubber man we're getting to chop more trees up let's collect that coal ore let's actually split the Let's throw that in there. It's going to burn fast and throw this into there. That will burn fast too. So the trees are good because they're renewable. They're power that we can dump into here to, to recharge everything. We can do power consumption. So now we need some pressing. So let's do 45 of these, I think. And I need to make more iron. So how do we do that? Well, we need to grind up iron ore. So let's grind up maybe 60 iron ore. And that will do its thing. And let's see here. Let's take a look at this one. So the next step is the presser. Do I have enough now? I think we have enough to build this. So I'm going to craft one of these guys. Perfect. Let's see. This one is going to be quite huge. So let's throw that right in here right there okay so this is the industrial presser all right so let's see are we pressing anything in here we certainly are we do have the titan ingots 
So if we throw these into here, it uses 18 power. Let's see how much power do we got coming in. It's going to drain very fast. Look at that. We got Titan ingots. Woot woot. So this presses stuff a lot quicker, but then this stuff here is a lot slower, right? So I guess it all just depends kind of what you're looking for. Let's put some Titan plates here. Let's see here. We need to make more more silver ingots so we'll throw those silver ingots in here and we'll actually start pressing those yeah we're gonna drain the power pretty quickly but that's okay we could almost throw these into the other furnace uh, we should put this furnace back down I guess that's so funny I should have kept it so it all depends on how you want to use your your power right and how you want to consume power so this is a little bit slower but if you you if you notice it's still relatively quick so it uses a lot less power to do kind of the same kind of thing I don't think there's any yet yeah, still one for two it's not like you get any extra the electrolyzer this is where we're kind of breaking down making the Titan powder that's using up power distiller we haven't used these are silver plates that we need for all kinds of electronics and fun stuff like that and then we also need some more iron plates to build man we just need a lot of everything so centrifuge no not yet we are crushing yeah so yeah so I tell you what I think that's it for this one so basically we have the power we have the the industrial furnace and the industrial pressing which this will now allow us to then go a step further right so if we go into our auto workbench we need 18 titan plates we need 10 of these advanced electronics we need 25 of these things let's see if we can build them one at a time uh, let's see uh okay i ran out of these materials so let's make a few of these bang 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 not sure how much I need of these. Let's take a quick peek here. Auto workbench. So I need 25 of these things. Let's see. 24. Okay, perfect. Got that. Let's go back. I hate this. I wish you can go back. Auto workbench. 25. So we need 10 of these. We need 18 Titan plates. We only got two. We'll have to press all of these. Okay, okay. Um, what else do we need here? And then we need the pressing, which we can grab, the centrifuge we have, the crusher we can grab, and the furnace. So we can grab all these once we build it. So we need more of the advanced these things. And we need, what, 10 of them, I think? Let's go back. One craft. Okay, and then if we go back to it. Yeah, 10 of them, 25, so we need the Titan plates, and then we're a business. We're a business with the Auto Crafter. And, yeah, that's exciting, folks. So, yeah, so thank you, everybody, for watching. I'm just going to continue grinding here in between our episodes, and hopefully in the next one we will place down the Auto Crafter and kind of get into the vehicle builders and all that other fun stuff. So, yeah, so thank you, everybody, for watching, and hopefully you've enjoyed yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.